Welcome back everyone. Can you tell the difference between an authentic and a real painting? Shelly Vistanza is standing by live at the McFadden Ward House. Hi Shelly. How Hi, are you? Hi Chrissy. How are you? I'm good. So you're here to talk about an event that could actually be a real eye opener for people that buy a lot of art. That's right. We're going to talk about some real things tonight at the McFadden Ward House. They're going to have fakes and forgeries, and they're bringing in the director of appraisal services from the Heritage Auction, Heritage Auction. and she's going to be talking about how you can identify real things versus fake things. And I have with me Marcus Powers, who is the public relations coordinator for the McFadden Ward House. So tell us, I mean, I, when I saw this, I thought, really, are there still fakes in the art world? Why, why do we need this? Discussion. Well, like you said, Meredith um, Molly has a really um, diverse and interesting background in the art world. Um, mm -hmm. She's been on. Um, she's, she's been on. Uh, she's been with the, with Heritage Auctions for a while. She's also okay. been with Christie's in London, which I mean, in New York, which is a pretty famous auction house. Yeah. And she's also done some time on uh, PBS's uh, Antiques Roadshow. Oh wow! So so she has she knows her stuff, and um, and she's going to come here and she's going to talk about you know how you can identify fakes and forgeries in your own life. She's also talking about her own experiences with finding fakes and forgeries. Um, in, in, in pieces that she's appraised, um, both as a part of um, on TV and, and other places as well. And she's just going to kind of, you know, give her experiences and tell us how we can avoid such those same pitfalls as some people who think they have something that's worth a lot of money and ends up not being any, worth anything. So. Well, and I would think that even if you're just out at a garage sale or an antique store, it would be nice to know some of the tips. Yeah. I mean, where else would you get a, a fake or a forgery? I mean, galleries? Do they... Well, she's talked to she talked to me just on on her own time about a lot about her experiences, and I know that she said that um, you know that a lot of times people will buy like you said at garage sales, estate sales, um, and that's not when they buy it. The person who's selling it to them isn't necessarily doing something malicious and being like, "I'm going to sell this fake off." They don't but, know. But yeah, they don't know, and it's just it's just you know like you said, it's a good way of getting tips and being able to kind of tell for yourself, and you know you know keeping an eye out on on the little tiny little things that might give away a forgery or a fake or something or anything like that. So. Okay, so tell us how this night will uh, happen. What can people expect when they come. It's at the Visitor Center, which is, is right in front of the McFadden Ward House. What it can is. people expect? Uh, it's in our Visitor Center, which is 1906 Calder. It's on the, on the corner of 3rd and Calder. Um, and it's in our lecture hall. It starts at 6.30. It's completely free and open to the public. But it's just basically what it's going to be. It's a part of our lecture series. And the word lecture kind of sounds a little academic, but it's right. going to be like, she's going to give a little talk and you know, a little speech and everything, but it, you're gonna, everybody can ask questions. You know, she can, you know, there's going to be some one up sort of one-on-one -on -one time at, at the reception afterwards where we're going to have wine and cheese and stuff. So it's not going to be just sitting there listening to a speaker. It's going to be pretty interesting talk. And she's, uh, I, like I said, I've talked to her and she's, she, she knows a lot of stuff and she's very knowledgeable. So, I so this isn't really just, just for people who collect art, but no, for yeah. anybody. I mean, I don't collect art, but I like to go and I like yeah. to see art and I could find out how to pick out good art. Yeah, I don't collect art either. And I know that and me talking to her, I've, it's been really interesting just to get to know what her experiences and what she's done as, you know, as a part of all the things she's done and all the places she's worked. And just she's had some really cool stories about you know like I said people that both had imagine. thought they yeah. had a, thought they had a, a priceless piece of art and didn't and then also the other way around where they had something that their grandma gave them it's been in a closet for twenty years and being worth thirty five thousand dollars. Oh, so amazing! That's, yeah, there's some cool stories. Nice problem tell. to have if you discover yeah, such right. things like that. In yeah, your life. yeah, yeah. I wouldn't mind that myself. So. You know, I didn't realize, Marcus, that y'all have lecture series and you're going to have do. more this year. Tell us a little bit about what we can expect. We in the do. Future. This is just a kickoff for our our 2014 lecture series. We've got some really interesting ones um, lined up. We're going to have probably five or six this year. We've got uh, um, uh, two more already set, both in May. The first one um, is at May 1st, I believe, and that one is um, a guy named Perry McFadden Clark of Amazetto Vineyards in, in Napa Valley. And he's going to come and he's going to talk about uh, it's a, wine. It's a, a wine. wine. It's a small, it's a small family-run business, um, and so he's going to talk about the challenges behind that. And just you know, I mean, I think nobody really knows. Everybody drinks wine. Nobody knows how it's made. And the other one is going to be a, the former Peter Hatch, the former. Um, uh, buildings or no gardens and grounds uh, director at Monticello Thomas Jefferson's estate in Virginia so awesome things coming yeah. up here at the McFadden Ward house sure. including a rose pruning this Saturday 1030 in the morning 1030 Beaumont Rose Society will be here to, uh, giving us tips on that so okay I plan on being here for that because you'll get clippings from the McFadden Ward house beautiful rose garden right behind us here in Old Town oh, so yes. we talked about that anything free and roses are definitely a good free thing <laughs> exactly. to get exactly <laughs> now as far right. as tonight and the reception is there going to be a chance for kind of a mini road show? Are you going to be able to bring in a few pieces and, and have her look at them? I don't think so. It's not a mini road show. You can't bring pieces in, right? No, no. There's not going to be any kind of appraising or anything tonight. It's, she's just going to, um, you know, she's just going to give her give her speech or whatever. But, um, you know, there's plenty of tips on how you can tell yourself if you want to. So, yeah. 
Yeah, you can learn how to be your own road show <laughs> and, you know, find things and decide if they are fake or real. All right. Very so. cool. Thank you so much, Shelly and Marcus.